Hey, what's up, guys? This is Danny Warsnock, and you're listening to BareBonesMusic.com. Evil G, BareBonesMusic.com. I'm here with Danny from Asking Alexandria. Danny, hello. As always, thanks, man. Uh, we caught up with you last year on Warp Tour. We did. Um, had a great show that day. Saw some nice things. Um, Boobs. <laughs> out there in the crowd. Talk about, uh, you go straight from uh, Warp Tour last year to Mayhem this year. Now, yeah. obviously Mayhem's a little you know, tighter group of bands, smaller group, but t- talk about your guys' transition from being in a crowd like uh, Warp Tour versus... I definitely prefer this. Okay. In every way. Okay. Um... Warp Tour, I feel, is a. Uh, it's like high school, it's full of bullshit, childish drama um, by unprofessional bands. And this is a. Uh, it's just a real sense of family. Like, everyone's in this together, everyone's in the same position, everyone's very professional and very about the music and doing everything properly, and everything's ran very smoothly, and there's never any questions about when something's happening and if it's going to happen. Right. Everything's very clear and very well organized, and yeah, I mean, it's nice to be around um, more like-minded individuals as myself, right? Rather than us and a bunch of children. So yeah, because you, I mean, you're on tour here now. Sumerian was like, first of all, touring with your Sumerian label mates. You got Bon Burn Body and yeah. Chain Martyrs, and um, so, you know. And it's the- cool because we haven't really spent any time with those bands. Like, we've met them for the first time on this tour. A lot of them. Yeah, and um, you guys are not young. I wouldn't say you know you got younger bands, but you have two albums out. You know, you've yeah. got, you got a whole, uh, you got a couple other things going on. You got EPs and the mix, uh, yeah. CD. But what's it like being a band who I lo- who grew up? I know you <coughs> are big on all the metal from you know Skid Row to Motley Crue yeah. and Slipknot and everything like that. What's it like being here with Anthrax and Motorhead and Slayer? I mean, it's it's Slipknot? it's awesome. Um, I mean, it's great to get a chance to like, spend time with these guys because we've met them um, throughout our careers at various points. And uh, yeah, it's, it's nice to be able to be on the road with them and spend time with them and kind of get to know everyone better. Uh, and I mean, it's, it's great to be out with bands like Motorhead that have yeah. definitely been an influence. And I mean, Lemmy, the rock and roll god, is <laughs> out on the road. And it's, it's amazing seeing him wandering around, being all rock and roll godish. I've seen. I've even seen you taking some photos uh, from, yeah. that've been up on uh, Whitechapel's page and playing live. Are you yeah. going, getting out there and just enjoying the other bands that are playing. Yeah, and definitely. Kinda... I mean, I, however much um, it, it was perceived that I got into this for maybe the wrong reasons, like sex and drugs. Um, I, at the end of the day, I'm here for the music, and being in one of the bands doesn't change that. I'm still going out and seeing the other bands because, at the end of the day. Even though I now play music, I still love it, and it's still the most important thing in my life. And that's, I'm going to make the most of being on a festival with so many incredible bands by getting out there and listening to them. I mean, and you guys, you're touring constantly. Uh, even if you don't have, I mean, your record's been out, Reckless and Relentless has been out for a little while now. Um, but you know, you had the mix tape or the yeah. mix disc come out where everybody kind of did their own interpretations of, of some of your songs. Um, but you also, your video wise. Um, you know, through self-destruction, yeah. all those videos came together not too long ago, came out as one big piece. Yeah, it was uh, about a month right to ago. The charts on, and we talked a little bit about to the stage during Warped yeah. Tour, how much fun you had doing that. Um, and Breathless is now out as well. Yes. But that, that was shot at the Wiltern. That was on a Halloween ago, show, yeah. But then that, com- that comes at the end of Through Self-Destruction too, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, that's the actual yeah, show. Yeah, it's starting to coincide, to, yeah. Um, what's it like to see I know it's different filming all those things and doing all that stuff but what's it like to see something like an entire package of what you guys are trying to interpret as far as rock and roll and um, Hollywood I mean it was a, it was just a very loose very loose documentation of what was going on in my life at the time and mm-hmm. all the shit I was doing um, it's, it's weird to look back on because I mean a, a lot of that stuff how much it is very very dramatized and exaggerated and uh kind of 
altered a bit for the sake of the movie. A lot of it is very, very true to life, what was going on, and it's, um, it, it, it is a very harsh reminder at parts of how fucked up I was and um, how messed up my life was getting. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's weird looking back on. And even like seeing pictures of me from, from back in the day, and like, you, can, you can see how many drugs I was doing and how fucked up I was and how unhappy I was. And I don't know, it just makes me happy about the turnaround I've, I've, I've made and how everything's different now. I'm very happy. Well, I'll have to say that on the Warped Tour video that we did, um, you guys have posted on your Facebook page and just went through the roof as far as views. But a yeah. lot of the comments that I read were how great you looked, how much better you sounded. Um, just, well, I, was, just sound, I, mean, just I was still very much an alcoholic drug addict mess during that time. Um, but I was, uh, I, I, I mean, in, in some some parts of Warped Tour, it was the heaviest I'd ever drank, and right. like me and a couple of my friends who I don't know if they want to be named, so I just won't. <laughs> um, I mean, we were going through four to five handles a night. Yeah, like we'd kill a handle of vodka in thirty minutes, just straight, just chugging it, and it's. It was it was a very dark time and I wasn't happy and I mean uh, during that tour I think I let loose more because I was in the mindset of that was going to be my last tour. Oh. I had wow. every, I had every intention of leaving the band after that tour. Really? I was just so unhappy with what I was doing and didn't want to do music anymore necessarily. I was I, I'd reached such a low point that yeah, I, I just I gave up and was in just such a downward spiral that I just didn't want to do it anymore. Wow, that's I did. That's some information we did not have. Uh, I don't think it's ever been out there. I don't know if there's any rumors of you leaving the band or anything. No, like that, this is but the first. It's a uh, little exclusive here. Uh, I, I mean, I, that cut through me for a loop there. I wasn't really. <laughs> answer. Um, I usually don't get those kind of like that that kind of intense answer. Right, nobody what expected turned, this what interview turned, to what, get this deep. What, 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 what turned it around for you then? Um, I don't know. I, just, I think slowly over time, um, I mean, I, I made another band called Harlot and um, started working on my solo stuff for a while and that helped kind of pick up my morale again and now I've sobered up and I'm off drugs and yeah, just kind of slowly turned everything around with help from, um, help from my friends and from music heirs and Various people have all helped me along the way, and yeah, I'm in just a much better place now. Well, that said, let's talk about what you guys have. I, I, I was going to talk a little bit about, you have a uh, guest vocals on the new Memphis Mayfire. Yeah. How did that come about? That was a lot of fun. Um, well, this thing is one of my best friends in the world, and I mean, I've, I, I buy all their stuff. I get all their magazines around. I'm so proud of him. And, just really support them. I think they're very talented guys. And as soon as I heard they were doing an album, I flew out in the middle of a tour to Florida to go listen to it yeah. while they were in the studio. I just surprised them. I was just <laughs> called them up. I was like, hey, you guys still in the studio? Man? And he's like, yeah, how's the tour going? I'm like, oh, it's going great. And he's like, oh, where are you guys today? I was like, oh, we were the other, fucking wherever we were, like other side of America. We were there yesterday, but uh, yeah, I decided to fly out to Florida. I'm in Orlando. <laughs> I'm on my way to your studio right now. I want to come listen. And yeah, he asked me when I got there if I wanted to sing on it, and there it just was. all came together, and I was very excited about the idea. I mean, I initially just flew out there to say hey to some friends. Yeah. And I remember I was in Houston the day before. Like I said, you're getting around, you're always putting stuff out, but let's talk about Asking Alexander. Where are you guys with new music? Um... We're writing our new album right now. Uh, the first half of it is recorded. There's the first single entitled Run Free coming out. Um, it's looking to be kind of early August. It's been released through the Axe Body Spray app, so we're kind of waiting on okay. them All right. as to when it's going to be released. Um, we'd prepared it so that we'd be playing it on this tour. Okay. But now we're not allowed until it's released. Oh, really? And they were okay. supposed to have already released it, and they just haven't. And they said, you're welcome to play it, but you lose $75,000 in a buttload of promotion. So we're like, well, I guess we're not playing it then. Well, that, that's, yeah, you would definitely have to. Uh, yeah, but the new the new album's coming along really well. Um, going in in September to finish it. It's looking to be kind of end of the year release. So we may see it this year? Yes, we definitely will see it okay, this year. we'll see it this year. Great. Um, so, Danny, I, you know, like I said, you kind of threw me for a loop there. Got an exclusive <laughs> here, an interview that, we're, you know, I 
Well, we about last year we are talking about chicks in the crowd showing your right? so um, this got a little diff different but I appreciate your time thank um, you for having me and glad listening to me glad you're vent. Uh, getting things back together yeah. and doing well and um, look forward for the new stuff man can't wait for, can't wait to hear it hope to see you guys tonight today yes sometime. definitely see the show and um, just wait for the new material and check them out on Memphis May Fire Records thank you guys I love you check it out thanks man